So when you're done with all the toes, you fold this leg up like this because it won't go farther than this. And then you fold it like this but make sure that this edge and this edge allows making a really right crease. Now, open the layers by opening only these layers and maintain, and maintain the crease and put that layers aside like this to close the leg inside and do that on the other side as well. If you've done these two things, now fold the head down and then fold this point to that point to finish up the base. Now this is what I meant around this part, the, crease, the creases don't don't keep there. A tip to prevent that is to wet fold or to glue these two points to fast after you finish the model. When you finish doing that, open this layer like this and crease this like this so it won't it will end at this point here and this point here so you will close this down when you fold it down now squash fold this layer here like this so you will even close the leg more now fold the layer down and do it on the other side too This is also to shape the legs, so it looks more beautiful. Now crease this point to this crease. inside reverse fold the crease afterwards. Do that on the other side as well. You can also do that without creasing. Now pleat inside the leg between any layer you desire like this. Do that on the other side as well.
Now we're going to shape the toes by first inside reverse fold the first toe and the last toe backwards. And then the middle toe needs to be inside reverse fold back twice so it will look like this. Oh wait. Now it was t different. <laughs> now to shape the toes, you inside reverse fold the first and the last toe twice. You need and you need to inside reverse fold the middle toe just backwards. do that on the other side as well. The legs don't have to be long and don't have to be short. Just make them as well as possible. Now, inside reverse fold the neck twice. Like this. And then inside reverse fold these two layers inside to lock the neck. Now to shape the head we need to make pre-creases. need to make this crease first by just folding. Then we need to fold the edge to that crease you made. And we need to make a pre-crease to that width by folding the edge to that crease you just created. And we need to make a crease between the middle crease and this crease. Now, inside reverse fold using the middle crease first, then inside reverse fold back up that crease, and bring the two down by inside reverse folding like this <clears throat> now it's a beak And now we're going to fold these flaps inside. <laughs> to make the model thinner from a certain point of view, 